केमिकल म्यूटाजेंस केमिकल म्यूटाजेंस आर केमिकल सब्सटेंसेस दैट कॉजेस ऑल्टरेशन इन द डी एन ए देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल म्यूटाजेंस फर्स्ट बेस एनालॉग्स सेकेंड बेस मॉडिफाइंग एजेंट्स थर्ड इंटरकैलेटिंग एजेंट्स बेस एनालॉग्स एंड इंटरकैलेटिंग एजेंट्स डिपेंड ऑन रेप्लीकेशन वेर एज बेस मॉडिफाइंग एजेंट्स कैन इंड्यूस म्यूटेशन एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ सेल साइकिल लेट सी ईच ऑफ द टाइप इन डिटेल फर्स्ट बेस एनालॉग्स In this, the analogs of the nitrogenous bases gets incorporated in the DNA, causing mutation. For example, thymine and fibromyuracil. Fibromyuracil is an analog of thymine and gets incorporated in the DNA at the place of thymine. In the normal state, it binds with adenine. thus causing no change in the dna however during replication it might change to its rare state which binds with guanine which causes alterations in the dna thus creating a transition mutation this can be reverted back by second treatment of fibromyuracil let's see the next one base modifying agents there are chemicals that modify the chemical structure and properties of bases they can be deaminating agent hydroxylating agent and alkylating agent deaminating agents there are the substances which removes amino group from the bases for example hno2 it can remove amino group from guanine cytosine and adenine treatment of guanine with nitrous acid produces xanthine xanthine binds with cytosine thus creating no mutation treatment of cytosine with nitrous acid produces uracil Uracil pairs with adenine instead of thymine thus creating a transition mutation treatment of adenine with nitrous acid produces hypoxanthine hypoxanthine pairs with cytosine instead of thymine thus creating a transition mutation this all can be reverted back by second treatment with nitrous acid hydroxylating agents there are the substances which adds hydroxyl group to the bases for example nh2h it adds hydroxyl group to cytosine Hydroxyl amine reacts with cytosine to form hydroxyl amino cytosine. Hydroxyl amino cytosine pairs with adenine instead of guanine. Thus creating a transition mutation. This can be reverted back with fibromyuracil or nitrous acid. Alkylating agents There are the substances which adds alkyl group to the bases. For example, methyl methane sulfonate. It adds alkyl group to guanine. Methyl methane sulfonate reacts with guanine to form methyl guanine. The methyl guanine pairs with thymine rather than cytosine. thus creating a transition mutation let's talk about the third type intercalating agents there are substances that insert themselves between two bases in one or both strands of dna double helix for example proflavin acridin and ethidium bromide let's see what happens when intercalating agent gets inserted in the template strand 
when intercalating agents gets inserted between the base pairs of the template strand, an extra random base is inserted in the new strand. After one cycle of replication, during which the intercalating agent is lost, a base pair is added, thus creating a frame shift mutation. Let's see what happens if intercalating agent gets inserted in the new strand. Intercalating agent it inserts itself in the new strand at the place of a base. When the DNA is replicated after the intercalating agent is lost, we can see that there is a deletion of the base pair, thus creating a frame shift mutation. This all can be reverted back by a second treatment of intercalating agent. Thank you.